Reeve, welcome. So has Tether made enough moves in the past few weeks to shore up questions about its um, soundness? <laughs> well, I think that what took place in the past few weeks actually perfectly illustrates how well it is, uh, how well it functions. The fact that there was almost $10 billion redeemed and it was all redeemed at exactly $1 speaks for itself. When you mentioned that in the past um, it dipped down to 95 cents, that's not quite accurate. While on third-party exchanges, it traded as low as 95 cents, that's because third-party exchanges are based on supply and demand. There was tons of supply, and so the price went down. However, the point of Tether is if you want to redeem it for $1, you always can redeem it for $1 at tether.to at the corporate website. And also, I, I wanted to, I was the, the former CEO and co-founder. I'm no longer involved in Tether. So these are just my observations, and I'm sharing you some insights into yeah. that market. But Tether itself has never, has never lost its peg. You can always redeem it for a dollar. It's just on the third-party sites that does, the price fluctuates. Does every dollar of Tether, is it backed by a dollar worth of something in the real world? So initially when we started the company, the foundation of it was give us a dollar, we'll issue you a token. That token moves on a blockchain, and you can redeem that token for a dollar at any time. And that dollar would always be held in reserve in a bank account. And we've stuck to that. Over time, it's evolved, and you'll have to look at all of the research and all of the reports that have done on Tether's backing. It's evolved into other things other than specifically dollars, but it's still backed one-to-one -one with, with instruments that are still worth $1. And so if there's ever a liquidity crunch or $10 billion that are trying to be instantly redeemed, Tether has the wherewithal to redeem it. Is that because so what you're saying is originally you basically just held the dollars in, in a vault, a, a, a you know, bank account, but now maybe those dollars may be held in the form of something like commercial paper. Uh, is that right? What is the range of assets that are backing those dollars now and how liquid are they? They're all extremely liquid. And Tether recently came out and, and stated the figures of how much is in U.S. Tre um, US treasuries specifically. But I can't comment on what the, the mix of the backing is. But I do strongly believe that it is fully backed and you'll never have any issues redeeming it. And that's the significant difference between an asset-backed stablecoin versus an algorithmic stablecoin. So the big tragedy in the marketplace, but it's not a surprise, um, is that an algorithmic, algorithmic stablecoin crashed. And algorithmic stablecoins are experiments. Some really smart people say, here's a mechanism to peg a token to the dollar. Right. We don't know if it's gonna work, but we believe it will. And in this instance, it didn't work. But just to be clear, Reeve, there is a distinction, which is, you know, the, the algorithmic one is basically not necessarily backed by anything. Asset-backed is backed by assets. But if the value of those assets declines, then Tether's holdings could still be worth less than, you know, 100 cents on the dollar. Yes. If, if the assets they put it in uh, decline some in some factor, there is a possibility that it's worth 99 cents for a point in time. But that would only mean if 100% of that 80 plus billion dollars is liquidated right away. I firmly believe they'll always be able to liquidate at a dollar because I doubt 100% of their reserves are gonna be called upon at any one time. What is the amount of reserves that can be called upon? Is it 10%, 5%, is it 15%? Where's the threshold at which that, couldn't, that demand couldn't fully be met one for one? Well, I can't comment on that. I don't have the answer. However, $10 billion, which was roughly, what, 12% 12, 12 was just called upon and was instantly redeemed without a problem. So that's the best use case and best testament to how valid that asset is. And you can guarantee that anybody who's holding Tether then will never get less than a dollar back for a dollar of the Tether they hold? I can't guarantee anything. However, I truly believe that.